Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 51, chapter 5. In this one, we can see this is still the circular motion. But in this case, the, this uh, object is on the table. So this is the horizontal circular motion. And then we know the radius, right? And we also know the velocity. But there we need to take care. This velocity tells us is the 35 revolutions per minute. So that means we must convert it to meter per second. How could we do that? We consider the distance it traveled for one circle is 2 pi r. Do you agree? So 35 revolutions, so this is the total distance it traveled. And then the time taken, because this is per minute, so it is 60 seconds. In this one, we use the total distance divided by time taken. We get the velocity in unit meter per second. So this one we must take care. The next one asks you to find the coefficient of static friction. So we do force analysis. We can see for this object, we have the gravity, we have the normal force, and we must have the friction. So we can write it as, as the normal force minus the gravity equals zero because the object never moves in y component. And then the friction is just equal to the coefficient times the normal force. So it's mu s times mg. The next one is get is the friction is the mass equals the mass times the central acceleration because in S component the central force is just a friction. And in this one we can solve these three equations. We can get this uh, mu smg friction equal to the mass times the central acceleration. Therefore we can get the mu s equals v squared divided by gr. And you can see there g is 9.8 meter per second square and the velocity is given, r is given. After you input these quantities, you can get the uh, mu s equal to 0 0.164. Thank you.